Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, up a touch to the latest iOS. So let's just go right into your settings. Under settings, your very first option, you guys will see your name up there or whatever name you guys put for your iPhone, iPad, or touch. So just go into there, go into iCloud and make that backup. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. No need to pay. Just open up iTunes on your computer. iTunes free program for both Windows and Mac. So you guys can download that and just make your backup right in there, okay? With iTunes, you guys don't have that five gig limit, so just make your backup before you do any updates. Then, let's just scroll down, hit general. Under general, you guys have two options. So, second option will be software update. Under there, you guys will see this come up, all right? So it should say download and install. For some of you, you might see install and that's it. And that's because you already downloaded. Some iPhones, iPad touches, just download and you guys might not have noticed that you actually even tapped on download from before, but you guys did. So maybe that's why you guys just see install. So at that point in time, it's just gonna do the whole reset and everything, okay? So right now I'm gonna tap on download and install. I'm gonna put in my passcode. Once you do that, it's gonna start downloading. So if your iPhone, iPad Touch touch turns off once it's downloading, it's no big deal. It's just gonna keep downloading afterwards. However, during the installation process, if it turns off, it is a big deal. So right now it's telling me that 20 minutes, right? It won't, because it's not that big of an update. However, just make sure that with older iPhones, especially iPhones, I would say, they do get slower with every single update that you do. And iPads, it's the same thing actually with all iDevices, but I've seen bigger changes, I think, with iPhones. So every update does make them a little bit slower, and Apple does that on purpose. It's the same with, thing with Samsungs, by the way. Every Samsung gets slower, like older uh, Samsung phones, they get slower with every update. They do that on purpose, so you have to buy the next one. Anyways, just be aware of that. Be aware that there's glitches that come with every single iOS update. So if you guys don't have to update, then don't bother, just leave it. But right now, this is the latest one. It will not take that long. It does depend on your internet speed. So right now it's downloading, it's saying four minutes, but really it's almost gonna be done, although it's just halfway, it's almost gonna be done. Okay, so you guys will see install. It's gonna give you that option. If you guys don't click on anything, it's just gonna install by itself at least have 50% of your battery. If you guys don't have 50% of your battery, charge it up. Even if you guys have 100% of your battery, I always recommend having it hooked up to some electricity, just like I do, just in case something goes wrong, okay? So that way, there will be no problems. All right, so again, even if you guys have 100% of your battery, just have it hooked up, so that way you guys know nothing will happen. Anyways, what we're gonna see once I click on install, white screen, Apple logo, loading bar, it's gonna restart once and then that's it. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID again. It's gonna ask you for your passcode if you guys have one in order to enter your iPhone, iPad, or touch. If you guys don't have a passcode, it's not gonna ask you for one. It usually does ask you for that, not just your fingerprint or it's gonna scan your face once something restarts. It's always gonna ask you for that passcode. So just be aware of that, guys. And that's it for this video. Anyways, this should not take you guys more than 30 minutes in total. I'm talking about downloading plus installation time. And that's because, again, it's a small update. Even though if you guys have really slow internet, again, it should not take more than 30 minutes. For most of you, this will only take about five minutes, if that. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh.